Congratulations, you've decided to make the switch to MPLAB X IDE. We'll take a few minutes in this video to show you how to import your MPLAB 8 projects into MPLAB X. The first step to import an MPLAB 8 project is to start the new project wizard by clicking on the little golden box icon on the toolbar. Then with microchip embedded selected as the category, we choose existing MPLAB IDE version 8 project from the project list on the right. Then hit the next button. Now it's prompting us for the MCP file from our version 8 project. So click on Browse, and go to the directory where you have your MCP file, and open that. And click Next. Now it should come up with the correct device automatically based on the information stored in the project file, but you may change it here if you wish to. And click Next. Now it's asking us if we want to use a header Headers are only required with the really low pin count devices, and it's optional with a few of the higher pin count devices. In this case, we're not using one, so I'm going to click Next. Now here's the first difference between MPLAB X and MPLAB 8 projects. In MPLAB 8, the hardware tool and the compiler were set as an IDE-wide setting. They were not saved with the project itself. In MPLAB X, on the other hand, the hardware tool and the compiler are saved along with the project settings. So in this case, I'm going to choose just a simulator for this one, and click Next. Next, we need to choose our compiler. I'll just choose it from the list here, and you'll notice that in this case, it's showing us all of the compilers that apply to the particular device that was selected for the project. Compilers that do not apply to it will not be shown. And click Next. Finally, it's going to show us a project name, a project location, and folder. The project name is going to match the name of the version 8 project or the name of the MCP file. The project location is going to be inside your existing version 8 project. And what the IDE is going to do is create a new folder within the project folder with the same name but a .x appended to the end of it. All of the MPLAB X specific files will be placed in this new folder so that it won't pollute the existing version 8 project. Then what the project is going to do is reference all of the files, the source code, of the version 8 project such that you can work on the code from either version of the IDE. So they will actually share the same source files. Let me click on Next. And finally, we have the summary screen where it lists all of the files involved in the conversion. You may see some red text up at the top with some warnings. In most cases, this is going to be fairly uh, reasonable. Here we're showing that uh, the COF output format is not supported and it's going to change it to L. In this case, it's not a problem because all of our compilers, at least the current versions, are able to generate the L format. So with that, we'll click on Finish. And in just a moment, we should see the project tree over on the left populated along with all the source files from the original project. So at this point, we now have a complete MPLAB X project that has been converted from the MPLAB 8 project and it's ready to build and work with as you, uh, as you choose. Now again, the source files are shared between MPLAB 8 and MPLAB X IDE. Only the IDE settings will be different. So if you make changes to the source files in MPLAB X, they will be reflected in your MPLAB 8 project as well. At this point, we have a complete MPLAB X project ready to build, and we can work on the same source files from either version of the IDE. For MPLAB X TV, I'm Rob Ostopnik.